Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I took the weekend off vlogging. I went to go visit my family in St. Louis, which by the way, had no idea how many of y'all live in St. Louis. I already have my sunscreen on, my skincare, but like I'm still gonna ice roll. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so today's vlog is mainly gonna be focused on my like post-travel routine, getting back into my routine. Today's Wednesday and I leave again Sunday for the week, so I just don't have time to not figure out my life, you know? I'm starting off this morning with a nice long walk and podcast on the Katy Trail. And then I think I'm gonna get a car wash. I have people coming by for like house things today. Um, I'm interviewing a new dog sitter and then I've got a lot of podcast prep. Um, tonight I have Pilates and I need my nails done. So we're just kinda getting back into your routine and then kinda showing you guys what I do post travel. Two things I do that are huge and I drink a lot of water right when I'm back because I just will like totally forget about that. And then I make sure I get up and I get movement in the morning. If, even when I land, like if I land somewhere, this is just cause I fly and I travel a lot. If I land somewhere, I work out immediately. This is not for like vacations. This is for like when I'm traveling for work. Um, then I am just like kind of back to normal. So I have Pilates tonight, which is why I'm going on a like hour long walk at the trail this morning. Um, and then I also need to get my car wash and stuff. So. I forgot my ice roller, which I never do this weekend. And it was really just like not good. Okay, well I hope that my sunscreen is still on. It probably isn't, but like my skin, like my face just feels so much better. Also, I got a text that my laptop is out for delivery, which originally I ordered it last month and it wasn't gonna come until August 5th. And um, it's coming a month early, so that's great. Hopefully that'll be here like by Friday or something. Anyways, I'm gonna head out. Also, thank you to Set. I'm like obsessed with this. So cute. I mean, so much water, like unreal. My car right now is disgusting, so getting a car wash. Also, just got a little membership, truly an adult. My walk this morning was incredible, and I'm feeling like such an adult. I'm so excited about my car wash membership. Hopefully this makes me keep my car clean. There's always construction, especially in like the area that I live in Dallas, and so it doesn't matter how much I clean my car, it's always gross, but now it's unlimited. Oh, that's part of the car wash. Oh, here we go. Like, wow. Love. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, I'm about to start unpacking. Normally, I'll do this tonight that I get back, but I got back late last night and I just, I couldn't. I unpacked my carry-on. I did wanna let y'all know that I'm donating 100% of my profits of the breadwinning housewife summer collection from today, which is Wednesday through Monday the 11th to Fun Texas Choice. I need to read what they do because I'm always like, I'm always afraid I'm gonna say the wrong thing. Not like wrong thing like, oh, people will get mad, but like, not explain them well, you know what I mean? Okay. Fun Texas Choice, we help Texans get to abortion clinics by covering, coordinating transportation and lodging. I'm pretty sure they're Dallas-based. I'm like almost positive. Yeah, they are Dallas-based. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know that they're Dallas-based, but I'm like so afraid to like speak wrong on someone else's behalf. Anyways, they are Dallas-based, and I'll be donating 100% of my profits so you can get the koozie. Honestly, anything on the site I'll do, so it's anything on under mine, but the summer collection is um, the koozies, the shot glasses, spirit jerseys, Sophie shorts, blankets, wine tumbler. So that stuff, and then I think we have the navy sweats up there, we have hats, we have like the water thing that I use all the time. Um, I'll do all of it, I said Robin Housewife summer collection now that I realize, but I'll do any of the merch. So anyways, if you guys are interested in shopping, now is your time. I'm donating 100% of my profits, portion of my profits to Fun Texas Choice. So, anyways, um, always wanting to help. I've talked a lot about um, like Roby Wade on Instagram. And so I think I, I don't know if I've vlogged about it. I can never remember between all the platforms. Anyways, horrible, horrible. So doing what I can, um, just a small thing. So if you guys feel inclined, please pick something up. Anyways, we're gonna listen to a podcast now. I got my car washed, I feel like a new woman. I got a membership, feeling like really put together. Um, and my groceries are on the way. I'm gonna unpack really quickly and then probably start doing laundry just because I don't really have that much time 
in between these trips and get going I've had so many different things going over samples for the Okine it's crazy what happens to me on these morning walks like I was afraid I wasn't gonna be motivated today and then I went on this morning walk and poor Jessica received like I'm not kidding probably a like, hundred messages from me had different ideas different email like just like I needed to be stopped you know anyway so a morning walk really does something for you by the way I'm wearing a set from story their stuff is so soft like I'd never worn it before I've seen it on Instagram and stuff and like people talking about it but like I understand the hype now and this one is more of like a tank top um not that I really care because I, I wear sports bras like everywhere but I liked that it was like I don't know it's kind of nice to have so anyways I really like uh the story set it's great <laughs> Okay, so my groceries got delivered. I didn't get much this week because it's already, what is it, Wednesday? So by tonight, I mean tomorrow, like I eat out on the weekends and then I leave Sunday. So I got stuff to make my favorite pasta, but I forgot the mozzarella cheese. So that's gonna be fine. Eggplant, brown, what is this actually? Gluten-free spaghetti, brown rice pasta. My favorite marinara sauce, avocados, bread, and then stuff for coffee. That's literally all I have. But again, I'm gonna be eating out. Like I have plans to go eat out for a lot of meals. So anyways, that's what we have. And we're just gonna make two this week. <laughs> Just been working on my computer. Um, I had a new dog sitter come over to meet her. I had someone come over for the house, just like random stuff. Also, what should I have there? I need to finish. Wait a second. Where's my rug -a bowl? I supposedly had a new rug -a bowl arrive while I was gone, and it's not here. Maybe it's in my garage. I'll have to look at that. Anyways, I have a package right now um, from PacSun. They had a Land Rover collab. And I was like, I drive a Land Rover and I need all this stuff. Also, it was really cute. Um, sorry if this is like named to people. I feel like, I don't know, I don't care. It's cute, okay? I got a lot of stuff. Just be prepared. I have to be honest, I was out of control. Oh God, oh wow. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, first thing, Cute little, little crop top, love, love that. Also, crew neck, it's soft. I wanted like double XL, but a lot of them didn't have it. Guys, these are the softest. Oh my God, these are like literally the softest things I've ever felt in my life. Okay, so that's cute. Then I got this top. Again, I wanted to go bigger on a lot of these just to have it oversized. This actually is gonna be good. Um, however, I couldn't do that because it sold out pretty quick. Then I have these shorts. I cannot even tell you the last time I shopped at PacSun. Like, it's been forever. Then I got this like oversized tee that I thought was cute. Just like easy, it'd be cute to wear. This would be cute to wear, honestly, with jean shorts and cowboy boots. Speaking of, I just texted a handyman because I am going to get the closet in my closet or I'm gonna turn that into a cowboy boot closet. <laughs> I know, um, so hopefully that'll be happening soon. Then I got this set. I feel like I got more stuff, but I guess I didn't. Just this blue crew. Guys, I cannot get over how soft this stuff is though. Um, and then these sweatpants that I like just love. But these are in a size large, maybe. Oh, well, there's like some ties, so I think I could do that. I mean, they're just like really comfy, okay? I can already tell. And the tie is cute. Love that. I mean, I'm like gonna live in this stuff. Honestly, I probably need more. I thought I got more. I'm confused. Anyways, I mean, I love. So, I'll be living in this stuff. Um, great buys. Also, Rare Beauty. <laughs> Please never take me off your PR list because it's my favorite one to get. Um, they have a new Kind Words Matte Lip Liner and then the lipstick. But I love their lip gloss. I love everything Rare Beauty. So I'm very excited for this. A lot of these colors, like I like worthy and fun. I don't wear like darker lip stuff or like peachy normally. So there's only about like no four of the colors that I'll wear um, and I'll donate the rest, but like unbelievable. I just, I'm so excited. I love this stuff so much. See the actual, oh my God. 
a good lipstick. There's really nothing like it. This is incredible. Okay, I love this. Wow, it's incredible. Have a good day. Watching Gals on the Go as I work right now with Kat, my favorite makeup artist ever. So excited, love this collab. So I was supposed to podcast prep for all the episodes next week. I leave on Sunday for a recording trip. So I think I'm recording like 10 episodes. I'm trying to do a lot more solo, honestly, because you guys are just loving the solo anyways, and I love solo. Um, but I am recording next week in LA and I'm doing like a batch trip and then I think my next one will be Nashville again and then I'll go back to New York and then hopefully that'll be it for 2022. By the way guys, not, this is like news to you, but I just want to remind you guys that we are in the second half of 2022, which is so crazy. Like I think about impressing and I went to New York for New Year's Eve and I cannot believe that we're already halfway through this year. So anyways, um, uh, I think I'm going to actually record a solo for next week and then kind of prep and then maybe we'll prep to tomorrow um i'm gonna record an entire solo episode on living an independent life being single and basically the best not the best way not that i'm like the best at doing it but i think i have a really good life being single and i am independent so we're gonna be talking about that so i'm gonna do a whole episode on that i feel like i actually am pretty good at that i'm better at that than i am at being in relationships at this point because i don't know if necessarily if it's that i'm better at that or i just like cannot even imagine having romantic feelings for someone but i have before so don't worry guys oh my god guys look at how cute she is uh, uh, i just like love days at my house where i'm feeling productive i'm feeling good and I'm just getting stuff done because it feels good. And you know, sometimes, you know what? No, this is this is the time that we're gonna talk about it. I wanna talk about summertime sadness in today's vlog. I made a TikTok. Let me pause the girls so I don't miss what they're saying. But I made a TikTok and then I posted it on Reels about how I have like reverse seasonal depression. I have dealt with mental health issues like pretty much my entire life. I've been on meds, I've been off meds, I've been in therapy forever. Um, so anyways, the way I... I feel like people describe seasonal depression in the winter is how I feel in the summer and I've talked about it in therapy so many times. I thrive in the fall and winter months. Like I am my best self, I love life. It has really no, nothing to do, like I, I know some people talk about it being like a body image issue and I haven't even thought about that. Maybe, I don't think that's really it. I think for me it's more, not that there aren't body image issues but I think for me it's more of like the routine of it. Like one, the heat, I don't like the heat, but it doesn't matter. It's not even just Texas, it's like wherever I am, I still feel this. So yeah, one, I don't like the heat, but two, I think summer feels like a little more loose. Maybe it's like a little bit less of structure, even though like my life doesn't change anymore in the summer. I do feel like I travel more, um, but whatever it is about this summer months, just like I, I don't know, like there's part of me that loves summer. Like there's good things I recognize that. I'm not saying I'm like, completely hate summer but i thrive in the fall and winter like when it's cozy and there's like stupid lattes and there's the holidays and it's like football and just like i don't know i've always loved fall and winter but summertime for me can be so isolating and i feel so depressed and i i find that i deal with imposter syndrome a lot more i find that i'm a lot harder on myself like n again not necessarily body but maybe that is and i'm just like burying that I'm harder on myself like emotionally. So it's like, I think my career wise, I will, I catastrophize in thinking worse in the summer. Um, of like, oh, this all sucks and whatever. And I think it is just like, comes from hating the heat and outside and just, I, I don't know. But I'm curious to know if any of you feel this way. I was really surprised on TikTok and Instagram by how many of y'all and just people that I knew feel the exact same way. Cause I feel like, I don't hear, that's obviously like not the most common thing that most people are like, oh, I hate winter, I love summer. And I'm the opposite. I really just love the fall and winter. I love cold weather, I love that time of year and I just feel better for whatever reason in the summer. I'm so just like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not, maybe it's the mid-year thing. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point, but like summer, if you have like summertime sadness, or like reverse seasonal depression, I see you. It sucks, like it's actually really hard. Um, I think that's why I'm in such a good mood today because I actually feel good for once. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's not my time of year. It really isn't, it's just not. So anyways, um, I'm gonna get to recording now. But I did wanna talk about that because I'm like, wow, I guess everyone feels this. Not everyone, but a lot more people than I thought, okay? Anyways, let me know in the comments below. 
Um, because I felt like, wow, I'm not crazy. And so that was really helpful, you know? Okay, I've changed in to the Land Rover Crew. It is so comfortable. Yes, it is 100 degrees out. I don't care. Um, I also love this new set active tumbler. I don't know if it's just for PR packages or if it's a little bag, but incredible. So anyways, I'm gonna record this episode now and then I will talk to you guys later. What time is it right now? It's 3.18. Wow, I've got a lot done today. Um, and then I have Pilates at 5.45. Gonna get my nails done tonight. I might self tan. We'll see. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Um, for some reason, I like can't shut up when it comes to the camera right now. So I'm gonna go um, and get this stuff going. Get it done. Get it. I can't shut up, but I also am not making any sense. So I'm gonna go. All right, guys. I'm off to Pilates. Here's my look. I'm excited. I haven't been in a week. Um, so I'm probably gonna die tonight. I think I'm gonna get my nails done after. Land Rover, also my new bag, um, obsessed. Like, I'm never gonna get over this. So anyways, um, heading off, hot Pilates, I go to Shine in Dallas, use code JOINKINZY for your first class free, best Pilates in Dallas. Um, it's kinda really just like get my mind right, you know? I like sound so lame every time I vlog. I just recorded the entire episode and I feel like I repeated myself the entire time, but maybe that's what you guys need to hear, okay? Maybe you need me to say the same thing 10 times for you to really get it through your head. All about living your best solo, single, independent life. So anyways, we're off. <sighs> All right, I'm back now. I'm currently listening to Chris Jenner or Martha Stewart's podcast. I went to get my nails done and then it was closing and normally they stayed till 10, they weren't. Long story short, gonna get them done tomorrow. They're looking rough. Um, but I just got back from two packages. I got the new um, roller, the like uh, the balls basically from the Skinny Confidential. I'm very excited to try this. Um, anything Lauren says or comes out with, I am there for. Also, these cards, like the texture on them is unbelievable. So beautiful, killed it. And then I got myself a pair of um, the Brevity House Life Sophie's. I needed to get a bigger size because um, the medium was not really the fit that I wanted. So I got a size large. Anyways, I just like cannot get over how beautiful these are. Like, wow, incredible, 10 out of 10. All right guys, I'm out of the shower. I'm in Skims pajamas and a Skims robe. I just, I just rolled my face. I'm gonna use my new tool. It's probably why it's a little bit red. I also tried the new Rare like lip products, so don't mind me. All right, you go up. Wow. Am I supposed to be doing this with oil? I know you lift it up. It's very relaxing. Am I doing this right? So far, I really like it. It's very relaxing. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go see Elvis, which I've really been looking forward to. Let me know if you all have seen it below. Um, I'm making dinner right now, pretty much the same dinner I made earlier since I didn't get many groceries this week. And yeah, I really wanted to get my nails done today, but I couldn't. Honestly, this is a really productive first day back at home in between a lot of travel. Sometimes it just takes you out, you know? I'm reading a new book right now. It's not that great. I'll review it on KE Book Club, but it's like not even worth mentioning. Oh my God, Taylor Jenkins Reid, their team sent me the new like Carrie Soto, whatever the new book is that's coming out. They sent it to me. So um, I'm officially in the book community and I feel very cool and very popular. Um, also guys, I'm like dying to have Colleen Hoover on the podcast. So if you could like spam her and tell her to come on the show, I would really appreciate that because like I really, really, really want her on. I just like don't think I'm doing this right. Cause it kind of like suctions your skin. I don't know. Whatever, I'm gonna make some dinner. That is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
a nice little vlog. I'll be vlogging all weekend and next week in LA. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Like I think we were really fortunate to grow up in a town where we pretty much went to school with everyone since kindergarten. Like you know everyone very well. But I think that's like a blessing and a curse in the sense of I think a lot of people get too comfortable. Yes. You go to college, you're with this whole group of people that you already know. So it's like, why would I branch out and make new friends?